folks. Archer Moreland. We got pre-owned deals that'll knock you off your feet. Tell them about it, Jeff. Over 50 cars for $1.99 a month. That's $1.99 a month. Check us out, folks. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Over 400 pre-owned cars at MorelandGM.com. That's MorelandGM.com. And if Moreland's done on the back of your car, you paid too much. Good morning. Welcome back to Statesman News Network. My name is Corey Knowles and today is Thursday, January 13th. Excuse me. A few stories today. A Dexter man accused of trying to carjack a vehicle on a lot of Tyson Foods in April 2010 recently pleaded guilty to an assault charge involving a firearm. James Eli Payne, 49, of West Stoddard Street here in Dexter, pleaded guilty to the Class B felony of first-degree assault Wednesday during what was to be a review of his case before Judge Stephen Sharp. Uh, he had been accused of assaulting Joseph Randall by discharging a firearm inside a vehicle while Randall was a passenger in the vehicle. After waiving, having a sentencing assessment report completed by probation and parole, Sharp sentenced Payne to eight years in the Missouri Department of Corrections. The, the offense, Oliver said, requires a defendant to serve a minimum of 85% of their sentence before they are eligible for parole. In Payne's case, Oliver said he will have to serve nearly seven years before he is eligible for release. In other news, in her newest and perhaps most influential role yet, U.S. Representative Joanne Emerson says she thinks of herself as an auditor, albeit one with a scalpel. Emerson, a Kate Gerardo Republican, was named Friday as chairwoman of the Appropriations Subcommittee on Financial Services, a high-profile position that will give her financial jurisdiction over more than 30 federal agencies, including the Department of the Treasury, the Executive Office of the President, the Internal Revenue Service, the District of Columbia, and the Security and Exchange Commission. Uh, Emerson was the ranking Republican on the subcommittee in the last Congress. Uh, we've also got a story, interesting story, about the Regional Health Care Foundation's prescription program and what that's done for, say, a Bloomfield couple. Uh, you'll want to read that. That's a really interesting, touching story. Uh, and weather, today we're going to have a high of about 26 degrees, low of about 14 under mostly sunny skies. Once again, another blustery, cold, windy day out there. Uh, chance of snow, time or two, late weekend, first part of the week, maybe even some ice. Uh, you want to keep tuned to that. Keep an eye on it. I uh, don't know what it's going to mean just yet, but we'll know more later. I uh, also want to remind everyone not to forget Friday's webcast of the Bloomfield Wildcats. They take on Malden in Bloomfield. And the Dexter Bearcats will be taken on the Burning Mules at Bernie on Bernie's channel as well. Uh, webcast will be viewed by simply going to davidstatesman.com and click on the Bloomfield Wildcats or Burning Mules Sports Network link up on the top left side of the page. Uh, click play and enjoy. That's about all there is to it. We've changed our players now to where they have a built-in chat mechanism where you can ask questions to your announcers and talk back and forth with them, things like that. It's really, really cool. You'll want to check it out. I've also want to remind everyone, still got all 26 games of the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament archived on our website. All you have to do is go to the Bloomfield Wildcats Sport Net Sports Network, excuse me, uh, and as you scroll down the page, you'll come to the games, and they're all just trickled in there. Uh, there's a bunch of archived games. That's something else people need to remember is that we do have archives. Every game played this year by one of our teams that's been webcast is archived on their website to be viewed in any at your leisure, whenever you want. Uh, to your loved ones, your family, your friends, they can all check it out. Uh, it's gone. It's been a really good program this year. It's gone well. Uh, the students have done great. The administrators that have dealt with us have done great, uh, and and so have the viewers. I mean, we've had we've had a lot of viewers for these things, and we're we're tickled to death and hoping to keep it going and hope to grow the program here in the near future. Uh, on that note, I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in and watching the Statesman Newscast. If you have any questions or comments, send me an email at cnoles at dailystatesman.com or give me a call at 624-4545. Don't forget to pick up a copy of our print edition for the stories we talked about and a whole lot more. On that note, see you back here. <laughs>